This is an HDMI capture card. This is an HDMI capture card. What's the difference between these two? One is $200. This one, just a shy under $20. For a beginning content creator, buying something like this that's worth $200 plus can be a huge expense. But what if I told you, you could start out with something like this for a fraction of the cost. First, let's tell you the good things about this. With the power to record at 1080p, 60 frames a second. Hey, what's up, Future Joe here. I'm recording through the HDMI capture card. Uh, just real quick, I said it was 1080, 60 frames. It's actually 1080, 30, my bad. It's 1080 30. It still records really well. This is a perfect example of that, but it's only 1080 30 frames. All right, back to the video. And also work over a USB 2.0. This capture card is gonna be the best bang for your buck for under 20 bucks. It gets rebranded a lot. You can find it on eBay and on Amazon. I went ahead and left the link below in the description. That way you can go ahead and take a look at it and check it out. It's still for anyone who's getting into streaming or content creation or wants to record video from like a camera into the computer or stream from a camera to the computer. This is by far one of my recommended first pickups before you buy anything else, just because of the power that it has. You can connect anything from a DSLR camera or a mirrorless camera via an HDMI cable in here and just plug this into your computer. I would say this is pretty good as a replacement to a cam link if you can't afford one. I know those things can range from 150 to $200. Combine this with the power of an HDMI splitter and this is where you really start to take off. What this does is it takes one HDMI in and also will split it out into two separate HDMI outputs. I honestly love this HDMI video capture card because of its simplicity. Is this really all that you need to get started? Yes, to get started, yes. But as you later on wanna upgrade your content, upgrade the quality of your stream, that's when you can start saving your money or even use the money you earn from streaming to afford something like a HD60X or even a HD60S or S Plus on the used market. Honestly, for someone who's starting out and you $200 sounds like a lot of money, something about 40, 50 bucks is going to be a hell of a steal. You could get not only the HDMI capture card, you could get the splitter and you could get a pack of three HDMI cables for honestly less than 40 bucks. I left links to all those products below, so go check them out. Let's talk about some of the downsides. You will get, because of this is not the highest of quality, you will see some lag um, with your video content going from your device into your computer. So if you're trying to play back and use your computer as a gaming monitor as well, you may notice a slight delay from when you press your buttons to what the action on the screen. Another thing to note is that your color is gonna be just slightly duller. If you are using this with OBS, you can still go in and change the color picture and the formatting to make a couple of adjustments to saturation and brightness and contrast and gamma. You will notice a difference between something like this and something like this only if you're really a professional or a semi-professional, you were getting into videos and you were learning about color correcting and color grading, that's when you really would notice a difference. Otherwise, the common user will not notice any difference. Another thing to note, when you are setting this up with OBS, you wanna make sure that you're not only selecting the video capture device, but you wanna also select the audio capture device. Just by video, selecting the video device, depending on a Mac or a PC, may not always capture audio, so you wanna make sure you're capturing both at the same time. As well, if you're using a separate mic, you may want to put in some kind of delay between your video feed and your mic feed, so that way it's aligned correctly. Because it's a very generic device, there's a lot of different clones that are out there. About most of them will all work just the same. A lot of them are just the same shell with a different company print on it. I've seen stuff from like Vivitar as well. So all of them should work the same. Some of them will come with a USB-C adapter. Otherwise you could use any generic USB 2.0. USB-A to USB-C adapter. If you do want to pick up any of these products, they are available in an affiliate link below. Just know if you are purchasing it through that link, you are helping contribute to the channel, so I thank you in advance. With these couple little devices for under 50 bucks, you can get yourself up and running and streaming in no time. Now, if you want to check out a video about how to get a cheap camera option, make sure you follow this channel for that next video coming up. Otherwise, I'm Joe, this is Matsu XL, and as always, peace.